dolls it's your girl shayla welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here please do not forget to like comment and subscribe today i will be showing you a video of large boho knot list um it is somewhat beginner friendly if you need a beginner friendly video please comment below and just let me know so I broke my video down in steps for you guys. Um, step one, of course, is to blow dry the hair. Um, whenever I'm braiding, I prefer the hair be straight from root to end. It helps the product lay. It helps keep everything neat and flat. Okay, so now that the blow dry is complete, I will be taking my red tail comb as well as my product. I will be going in and I will be sectioning the hair into six sections with the middle part going straight down the head. Um, this keeps everything neat and clean and separated. It also takes away time. It makes the braiding process a lot faster. So guys, when I do my pre-part, um, it does take me a decent amount of time because I take my time and I make sure that my parts are as straight as possible. For some reason, I don't know why, I always have a hard time getting straight parts on the first try. I don't know why. Um, so it might take me longer than average, but I do take my time and I make sure that all my parts are as straight as possible, as straight as I can see at least. And um, I am going to upload that in real time, just in case anyone has the same issue as me, feeling discouraged, whatever the case may be. You're not alone, sis.
Yo, I'm not trying to talk this entire video. I think it's easy if you just watch me. Um, so a lot of things are self-explanatory. I'm not going to explain every single process step by step. I will cut back in to explain what I think is important. Okay, so the next step is the braid down. For the braid down, you want to add product all over the section of hair you'll be braiding. Comb it through the hair. Um, you want to comb the hair up towards you. You do not want to comb your knotless flat down. You always want to comb it towards you. After that, you separate the hair into three pieces and you begin to feed in. I believe I fed in about six or seven pieces before completely braiding down. And then throughout the process, I may have added in about two more pieces. Um, also, another thing to keep in mind, you want to keep a tight grip on your braid the entire time. That helps the braid stay tight and neat. Okay, so another important step when doing box braids is also the bricklay. I love a bricklay look. So to ensure that I always have um, a bricklay when I'm braiding, I always part from the center of the braids below. If you part from the center of the braids below consistently throughout the head, you will notice that all your braids will lay in a brick format. Um, I think it it has an overall nice look, a nice finish, and it keeps your braids very flat as well. So you don't have bulky looking braids. So when you're adding in your curly hair, 
Um, me, I do every other braid or I try to do every other braid. I don't want to overwhelm the look. I don't like to add too many curls. I like to keep it, um, how do I say? I just like to keep it cute. So I do a curl maybe every other braid. When you're adding in your curls, you do it the same way as you're feeding in hair. However, you take out your first piece of curl. Um, I just flip it upward, braid down to the amount uh, that I want to braid down to. And then I pull out the second piece. Um, and that's really it. It's really kind of simple. Okay, so now we're on to the next step. This is where I mousse the hair as well as curl the ends. I try to get mousse on each braid individually as well as the curls because you cannot dip the curls in hot water. I only dip the ends of the braids in hot water. I pin my curls up. I make sure they do not go into the hot water. But I do use a lot of mousse. A lot, a lot of mousse is the key. So now that the dipping is complete, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to trim away any little stringly ends that I don't like. Um, after that, I'm going to mousse the hair again, of course. Um, I'm going to spray it with my freeze spray to lock it in. And then I'm going to quickly blow dry the hair. Qu emphasis on quickly. Once I'm done blow drying and everything is set in, it's nice and flat. I then take my oil sheen and I spray it um, just to add a little shine. And after that, we went to the baby heads.
Okay, so here's the final look. I'm super satisfied with how everything came out. Y'all, I love Boho Not List. I think it's actually probably my favorite style. Um, but let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.